What's going on guys, it is Caleb, and um, today I'm going to show you guys some more with nice styling. We're continuing where we um, can left off last video, um, learning about styling the fonts and learning how we can manipulate our font with some inline styles. So, let's go ahead and get started by heading over to Code Academy, and also if you're not already in full screen, make sure to look in full screen, 720p HD, you know, let's go ahead and get started resetting our code. And let's learn how to change the background color. As author Ling, Ling, Ling Lee writes, <laughs> the previous section covered a number of nice tricks to control how the text looks. Now we want to learn about how to change the color of the web page's background. Again, the style attribute is used. We make it equal to background color, and then the color we want. In this case, we're using the color red. And it's easy as that. So the instructions are, change the background color of the body to brown. To do so, add the style attribute to the opening body tag. Change the background color of the ordered list to yellow. So we go ahead and view our preview right now. We just have a pretty dull white and black HTML web page. But if we go up into our body, add our inline style, and specify background dash color. And then it wants us to change it to a murky brown. So just say brown. And then change our um, ordered list. So we do a style in the OL tag equals background dash color. And we change it to yellow. We will get this. Oh no, we did not get it. Okay, so what happened? Oh, yellow. Ye ye yellow, ye yellow. Let's see if we view it now. No yellow. Hmm. Back. Oh, back. Background. There. Oh, back. Oh, no. No. Uh. Uh. Error. Major technical difficulties. Okay. So now, if we view our preview, ta-da! We get this somewhat. It looks like red, not even brown. Um, body color. Then we get the yellow in our um, ordered list. So if we go ahead and submit the code, we get the way to go. So let's start our next lesson. Aligning the text. Ooh. So often it is nice to be able to move the text around. To do so, we again use the style attribute and then we use text dash align left or right or center to determine the location of the text. So, for example, they just have an inline style within the uh, start of the heading one tag, and they're saying text dash align colon, and then they're aligning it to the center. So the instructions are to make the H3 header align center. To do this, let's go ahead to the H3 tag, add our inline style, and text dash, ooh, dash align, um, and it wants us to align the center, so there we go. And make the first item in the list align left. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. So control C. Go into our first list item space. And I'm going to paste it. Now I'm change center to left. And it wants us to do the same thing for the second list item. Except it wants us to be center. So if you're copying and pasting like I am, it's the same exact thing. So you don't have to change it. And for the third one, it wants us to change it to the right. So this will show us and give us a feel of what it all looks like. Oh no, we got an error. Let's go back. Um, let's see. Text dash align. Uh, A L I N G. And then it's aligning to the center. Make sure that H3 is aligned to the center. Ooh, what's going on here? A L. I, oh, I knew I spelled a line wrong. I wow, and, and since I copy and pasted it, the whole thing is like wrong. Okay, simple fix. And we save and submit now. That's what you get for copy and pasting. But as you can see now, our header or our H three tag um is in the middle. Our first element is in our order list is to the left, align the left. The San Francisco 49ers is the second element or list item in our ordered list, and it is centered. And the third list item is to the right. 
So we got it correct. So let's go ahead and start the next lesson. Strong words. Ooh, cool. So we can change the appearance of words. What if we want to make them bold? Surprise! We don't have to use the style attribute. Here are the steps. Now, note, you can use the style and you can manipulate CSS or text on the screen with um, Cascade style, uh, style sheets and make them bold. But in this demonstration, we are going to use the strong tag. So identify the word or words you want to make bold. Surround those words with an opening strong tag and a closing strong tag. Celebrate how awesome you are at HTML. <laughs> Easy, simple, not even complex. So the first thing is first. Um, it wants us to go ahead and bold the word sing on line 7. So make sure that you don't um, make sure that you don't get the little uh, question mark in there because if you do you will not be able to pass this exercise. I learned that through trial and error earlier, but it's all right. I'm just going to go ahead and cu uh, cut and paste this back in there, but I uh, cut out string and I'm going to type in strong. And whenever I close the first um, start of the tag, you'll see that it threw in the um, in strong tag and now I'm going to paste it. And now you can see that I have seeing in the middle. And you can simply do this too, guys. All you have to do is just type it in there, but I'm just copy and pasting. It's just a lot easier. But um, yeah, also on line 8, Cut out two and um, type in a new strong, not string, but strong, new strong tag and paste it into the editor. Um, the two into the editor is what I meant. So now you should have strong, then sing, and then closing your strong tag, question mark, and closing your paragraph tag. And then the second paragraph, you should have the strong tag, then the two, and then closing your strong tag, and then busy eating cake. So if we go ahead and save and submit, you'll see, do you hear the people sing? And as you can see, sing is bolded. Also, you will see, no, I don't. I'm two, and two is bolded, busy eating cake. So I wish I was eating some cake right now. Unfortunately, I am not. Now we're going to learn how to emphasize some words. So you can make your uh, favorite qu quotes emphasize. So, aside from bolding words, we often want to italicize words for emphasis. Hint, hint. Like bolding, we don't need to use the style attribute. Instead, identify the word or words you want to italicize. Surround the word with the words that opening tag M and closing tag M. Be humble and grateful for your newfound powers. For you are God, and you are a phenomenal programmer, coder, HTML web developer. You are unstoppable with your powers. Um, yeah, anyone could care about that. But online seven italicize the word that. So to do that, go first. Double click the word that. Control uh, X, or I'm gonna go Command X, and I'm going to cut it out. And now you're gonna add your new found tag em which stands for emphasis and now you're going to paste or type in the word that then on line number eight you're going to do the exact same thing except you're going to do it the so and create your new m tags and paste it back in there and so now you should have m that and then closing your m tag starting your m tag so closing your m tag then tired and saving the code now you'll see, hey, don't do that, or don't say that, exclamation mark. And then I am so, and the so is emphasize, tired. And make sure that you're not getting the exclamation mark over here, emphasize, because that will result in an error, and you will not be able to pass this exercise, which is stupid. So now, with all the great learning of our, the, of our new tags, we have a lovely summary. This has been an incredible busy lesson, and you've covered a lot, so congratulations! We've, ha uh, we've learned how to make ordered and unordered lists, change the color and size of the type of font in comments in our HTML file, or that's add comments into our HTML file, change the page background color, align text, and bold and italic size text as well. You're done with this lesson, press submit to finish. If you want to be a real boss, test out your new skills on how 
are on a project to make something to show your pals. And don't worry guys, like always, we will cover the project in the next video, so stay tuned for that. If you like the video guys, make sure to leave a like rating. Um, if you get stuck, if you don't like the new interface, if you have any questions or comment at all, just leave them down below in the comments section. And like always guys, thank you guys. Um, have a good night and subscribe for more. Until next time, I'm Caleb. Peace.